You know, guys, I've said many, many times to you that over the long haul, the breaks inevitably go more in your favor than not. Now, granted, when you're in a losing streak or you suffer a tough, tough loss, like everybody that was on the Denver Broncos on Sunday, for example, getting backdoored by the Chargers, I understand you never feel like a break is ever going to go in your direction, either in the past or in the future. But ultimately, the breaks always even out. And again, I think they far outweigh the negative over the long haul. Case in point, last night I had my highest rated NBA play of the season. It was a 15 dime release, and again, 99% of my plays are rated between 5 and 15 dimes, and it was on the New York Knicks at the time they were a six-point favorite at New Orleans. Well, shortly before the game, the Hornets announced that their starting center, Anthony Davis, number one draft pick out of Kentucky, would not be playing. The line goes to seven and a half. Knicks jump out to the early lead. It was one of those games you didn't have to wait to the final two minutes like most NBA games to see who was going to cover. I mean, it was a snooze fest. I knew I had that one. It was like money in the bank. And that was a great break. Listen, frankly, I didn't make my decision to release that play and bet that play based on the fact that I thought Anthony Davis out of the blue would be scratched from the lineup. I just thought the Knicks were in a great position. The Hornets can't play any defense, and it was a great spot to go against New Orleans after they had just been hammered in their three previous games, and it worked out fine. But as I told you yesterday in the video report, that was my second 15-dime play of the season. Go back to the first one. It was the Knicks in their home opener against the Miami Heat, a game that was played just days after the Hurricane Sandy aftermath, a game that did not go my way because the Heat got annihilated in that contest and I was on Miami. And afterwards, Dwayne Wade and others said, hey, they didn't really think the game was going to be played. They got late to the game. They arrived late in New York to play the game. They weren't really in the mindset to play the game. Well, that was a bad break. Last night was a positive one. Again, ultimately the breaks always go your way, whether you believe it or not. It's just whether or not you can see the forest through the trees. That's the bottom line. Hi, everyone. Al DeMarco here, and this is going to be your Wednesday video report. Money saving discount coupon code coming your way in just a moment. FYI, with those 15-dime uh, NBA releases uh, after the Knicks won by 22, laying the 7.5 last night, now 39, 20, and 3 with those selections over the past three years combined. Uh, tonight, another NBA play, only a five-dimer. Not nearly as strong, but still a solid play. Uh, a guy who does have a big, big play tonight happens to be Anthony Red, his one and only 75-dime underdog game of the year selection. Understand, last year, players following NBA advice from A-Red, those $10 betters won $5,195, his highest rated NBA play so far this season, third big of his career, in fact, goes tonight as one and only 75 underdog game of the year. Uh, another guy that's been on a roll, winning day number 8 out of 12 on board for Craig Davis, 30-dime tournament lock on Pitt and Michigan. Uh, $10 betters have collected $1,800 over the last 11 days. Scott Delaney, biggest NBA play so far this young season, a 60 dime, excuse me, a 50 dimer on the Lakers in Sacramento. Uh, Jeff Benton going for winning day number 16 out of 22 with his 30 dime winner, number 10 out of 12 on the Raptors and Bobcats. He had a 30 dime winner last night on the Knicks, had a 30 dime winner on um, Friday, Wake Forest against UConn. Uh, so he's been on a roll with those plays. And, of course, over the past seven and a half weeks, uh, $10 bettors have won $5,225 following Jeff's advice. Now, mentioned also yesterday, Chuck O'Brien had a 100-dime play, biggest ever in college basketball for him, matches his biggest ever, first 100-dime play in college basketball in the two, past two years. Uh, it was a big-time loser on Wisconsin Green Bay. So if I tell you the good, again, I feel obligated. i got to tell you the bad. And let's get to your money-saving discount coupon code before I get to your um, free pick tonight. And that is going to be, in honor of Thanksgiving, 12 Turkey. That'll save you $12 off a single purchase today. 12 Turkey, 1-2-T-U-R-K-E-Y. 12, 12 Turkey will save you $12 off a single purchase today. Oh, FYI. Uh, for the next two days, because of the plethora of uh, NFL and college football action we're going to have mainly, um, I have all the handicappers here understanding that uh, they've got to be live by 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. So if you are playing, you'll have your action available early because, let's say, you got more important things to do tomorrow than sit around and make your bets.
at least some of you. I'm not sure about you over there in the corner. I'm not too sure about you at all. Okay, let's get to your free selection here. I came this close, this close to making this my play tonight. But then I found a game that was just a slight bit better. So I'm going to give you the LA Clippers plus the four points at Oklahoma City. It was four and a half earlier today, but it's down to four. Uh, you know, Oklahoma City has won seven of its last eight games, and it's averaged 104.3 points on 49.4% shooting during that eight-game stretch. But it's not like the Thunder has been playing a killer schedule. I mean, in that eight-game stretch, they played Toronto. They suck. They played Chicago. Derrick Rose, not there. Eh, Bulls are average. They played Detroit twice. Hey, always great to play a team that's 2-8 and eight on the season twice, right? They played the Cleveland Cavaliers. Need I say more? They played the New Orleans Hornets. They played Golden State. Their lone loss in that eight-game stretch came against the Memphis Grizzlies, who were in the middle of a seven-game winning streak at that time, and the Grizzlies beat them by 10 points in Memphis. Now, the Lake, the Lakers, the Clippers come into this game, 8-2 and two so far in the season, 3-0 and oh on the road. Um, they just won Monday night at San Antonio, 92-87, and so far this season, they count among their eight victims, not only the Spurs, but the Heat, the Grizzlies, and the Lakers. A much tougher schedule they have played. Uh, the Clippers lead the Western Conference in uh, shooting at 49.2%. They're second in offense, second in defense. They score 101.5 points a game. They give up 92.6 points a game. Uh, L.A. won three of the four season meetings a year ago. In fact, the final two games they took from the Thunder, uh, holding Oklahoma City just 87.5 points on 39.2% shooting in those two games. And remember, that was an Oklahoma City team that had James Harden coming off as their sixth man of the year candidate, right? So I'm going to go with the Clippers tonight, plus the four points. I think it's going to be one of those nail-biter games that's going to come down to the final minute. Two, three points one way or another. So I think it's wise to grab the points with the Clippers, who are certainly playing with confidence. That'll do it, guys. Best of luck to you all, and I will talk to you again on Thanksgiving morning.